Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to learn something new and uh, we are going to learn on how we can set up an online lab from Cisco instead of using the packet tracer and one of the reasons for doing this is because the online lab you are going to be able to access all the Cisco equipment that they provide there. Uh, the features that are provided by the packet tracer are quite limited. So as you progress in uh, the Cisco syllabus, you will find out that there are some things that you cannot be able to do using the packet tracer. We are going to now set up the lab and after we set up the lab, we are going to also access it from our computer. So we are going to access it from our computer using tools like Putty and Terratum and also we are going to access it through the browser using uh, the credential that you are going to get when we uh, set up. One of the things that you have to do, you have to sign up for an account at developer.cisco.com. So you will choose the method that you want to sign up with. I already have an account so I don't need to go through this process. Once you have an account, you are going to go to this URL devnetsandbox.cisco.com and you log in. Let me just go there and you log in. I'm going to log in with my Cisco account. I've now logged on to my account. Uh, once you're here, as you can see, there are some various uh, labs that you can have. But because this is a very basic course, we are going to look for CML labs. We can come here to the section where you have networking and it's going to filter some labs for you. We are looking for Cisco modeling lab. And once you are here, you just reserve it. What is going to happen is that Cisco are going to give you access to this lab for two hours. And you can change this to, to increase the number of hours. I'm not going to change. Then you're going to reserve. You're going to reserve. Let's see what happens when we reserve. As you can see, this is being set up. So we are going to wait until this is complete. And this takes about 10 minutes, as you can see, nine minutes to the end. Uh, there are some credentials that we have here. Once this lab is ready, we'll be able to access it using this URL. And uh, the username is always developer. Password is always c1 sco12345 uh, there's something here called output so you're going to get the credentials for connecting uh, using vpn here the vpn credentials will appear here once the lab is set up so what we can do as we wait for the lab to set up we can be preparing our development environment and this means that we need to install this Cisco in a connect software so I'm going to download the software for Windows because I'm using Windows downloads and I'm going to save it there give it some time to download we need to, to download two more tools we just go to Google and uh, say we want to download putty for Windows this is a tool that we'll be using to access our lab from a remote location. And we are going to download the XE version and we're going to get the 64 bit. So let's download this as well in our downloads. Uh, again, if you go back, we can download another software that is uh, known as Terra Term. For Windows, Terratum is an alternative to Putty. So we are going to also download it. Let's go to download page and see. I'm interested in 
the AXE version of Teratum, which is this. This one is, is, is going to try to install and sometimes it's difficult to install. So let's look for portable version, portable version, Teratum portable version. We can download it from here. Let's save it. I think we have everything set up. Let's see whether our DevNet is ready. We still have to wait for six minutes for it to be ready. I'm going to pause this video here, then I will come back when the setup is complete.